This right here, a little piece of my childhood. It's a birthday card, as you see. It's turned into a poster. But what if I told you this movie was actually not suitable for children? Oh no, it's got kids going against their parents. It's got the thought of drugs, people going, like, doing drugs. And then it's got the best thing ever, a cult. This is Bratz Fashion Pixies. All right, here we go. A family of three. A dad telling dad jokes as the younger sister laughs, with the older sister not really wanting to be there. The older sister named Cymbeline. Her birthday's coming up, and she wants something out of her father's reach. We don't know what it is until later, so I won't tell you. So, how about the little sister wanting to know how to ask someone out to the Magnolia Ball on Saturday? Wait, this is still a Bratz movie, right? I didn't walk into one of those teen dramas that end with the little sister and the dad dying so Simeline has to find the killer. And just like that, the little sister, they don't tell us her name yet so I won't say it, gets a bracelet after the fire grows a bit. Better than the CGI green suit. So Cymbeline leaves, knocking over Kim's store as the sister follows, revealing Cymbeline to be... Excuse me, what? No, really. I have no clue what that was or where she went. So we go to school where the one guy from the other uh, Bratz movies, Cymbeline, Yasmin, and Chloe, are learning about dark magic. <gasps> they, out of nowhere, get a new girl, Lena, who actually looks like she could be Brianna's sister than Cymbeline's. And I'm sure you've already noticed the new outfits for the dolls as they need a pair of wings with one button function that comes with fairy glasses. J just a thought for the toy companies. Boy Bright Doll. Didn't care to remember his name last time, so. Bumps into Brianna as he has eyes for the new girl. Brianna tries to ask her out, but realizes his brain is out for her. Poor thing, actually. Bet everything comes down on her making her life hell and she's still the main hero. <coughs> Cymbeline comes out as Chloe yells at her that she was no help in chemistry because she honestly doesn't care, as Yasmin, like her sister, asks what's wrong with her, as she spits out that she has grown up and that everyone else is behind her. Okay, look, I get it. You're in high school. You gotta buckle down because this is your... High school classes are gonna count for everything going to college. Yes, that's right, Bella. But at the same time, you're still a kid. You don't have to grow up just yet. You don't need to be going out there and starting a family as soon as you entered your junior or senior year. No, you have time. Just party. I mean, yeah, not crazy, but do stuff that you love while you can and try and at least be a kid because if you grow up too fast, you're going to regret it. You're never going to be happy. Like, that's the truth. Don't forget to add a random crow that comes in and steals a backpack. This is normal, yes? The boy brat dog goes out after the crow and goes out to a creepy forest. At that point, I say, fuck the bag and go back home or go back to school or whatever. He ends up crashing his motorcycle and hears people laughing in a creepy forest. It's time to go. He gets freaked out saying that they can keep the bag as Lena comes to fix his motorcycle out of nowhere and takes a seat on it. And she gives him the bag as... Come here. There's something I want to share with you. Guys, this is a kid show. I, I, I kind of got to get back. See, we're moving on from toasting. You're not nervous, are you? Guys. N no, no, I, I follow strange girls into the forest all the time. Hmm, that's what I thought. So, follow me, because I've got something way more fun than cooking. <laughs> She wants you to cook her up a long day. The brats are helping out to organize the Magnolia Ball. Because that's how... Because that's how that works, I guess. As Cymbeline is a no-show. Her dad is the one who organized the dance. She can at least help out with something. They decide to go to her place and see what's up, as apparently no one's been inside because the dad's really strict. Okay, here's, here's one. I used to work at a blanket factory, but the factory folded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What a... 
We're strict father. Simmeline goes to sneak off again as Brianna catches her. Brianna threatens to tell the dad what she's doing as Simmeline threatens that they're sisters and they always keep secrets. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. The brats get get to the house as Brianna lies and tells them that Simmeline's not home. So they go home and ponder out how the hell they can help. Nah, I'm just messing with you. They, Yasmin and Chloe trespass on the yard. Because that's what you do when, a, when after the little sister of the person you're looking for tells you that she's obviously not home, but really she is. They sneak around back to the greenhouse as they hear some guy in a ferry talking about Lena wanting that guy's powers. The dad comes out and sees nothing wrong, so goes back into the greenhouse as Brianna finds them and they see Cymbeline grow wings and fly away to God knows where. I'm fast as fuck, boy! Chloe and Yasmin are chased out, missing the car that Jane and Sasha are in. Actually, wouldn't you jump into that car and then run off telling them, hey, drive, we're being chased by a maniac. Lena calls to the boy brat doll as he seems to be underneath her spell. As Jasmine and Chloe tell them about what they saw yesterday, of course. Ha! You'll see. They'll be joining Linda's cult, and then you'll be asking why they're acting so strange a day later after they go into the woods. It's some stupid saying it aloud now. Chloe and Jasmine go to find Brianna as she tells them that she has a date with the boy Brett doll at the Creepy Forest. Chloe and Jasmine, being the good friends that they are, decide to go with. I have a better idea. Instead of going to the forest, how about we, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, yeah, don't. They go into the woods and find him as he dances and sings away. Chloe and Yasmin ask him why he's acting like this as he gives them a white flower and walks off. He seems normal to me from what the other two movies showed us, so I, I couldn't tell you. They follow him as Chloe and Yasmin lose sight of him, but happen upon... That's enough of that for today. Lena comes out, as so does Cymbeline, as y Chloe and Yasmin are hoisted up by a hentai, and it cuts to the next day. Jane and Yasmin come to work on the Magnolia Ball when they see Chloe and Yasmin around Cymbeline and Lena. Also, why do they have wings out? Are they fake? Great way to hide what you truly are, guys. The girls question them as Chloe and Yasmin tell them that they're going to a costume party when they realize the Magnolia Ball is tonight. Short recap. The dance is on Saturday. They have been at school for two days. They said Cymbeline was at one, and the dad hasn't really been seen at any of them. So basically, this volunteer work is basically, Brats, build us a fucking ball or dance or whatever the hell, and the dad does whatever. Literally, they're the only ones doing it, because I don't see anyone else putting posters up, and I don't see, like, anyone doing anything around here. They ask where Brianna is as they leave just because Jade and Yasmin have no clue where they're at and decide to be assholes about it. Jade and Yasmin find Brianna who tells them she's hiding from Cymbeline. We get a sad backstory which in all honesty should have been left for a time when it's a clearly different movie and not about pixies. Brianna tells them that her mother disappeared and no one knows where she's at as around 10 years ago near Cymbeline's birthday their mom took them shopping giving them charm bracelets red fog comes around and as she gives them a wand i actually remember this coming with the toys as it had glitter inside and when he flung it at people it would just be a mess she disappears as the fog doesn't come closer to her as it just emits a kind of red tint on her as she vanishes she's a pixie ain't she brianna goes to show jade and yasmin why the girls are acting winner as she gives them the glasses where the hell she pulled that out of her ass? They see people with wings and... Fucking bubbles! Brianna tells them that pixies need to be hidden, as her dad is king of pixies. Kinda figured, but you know, whatever. As pixies in hiding promote to help people and nature. Also, when they turn 18, you get your wing, which Sibylline's not, so she had gotten them from Lena. And you need to get your wings from good work, which she has not done. I just realized something. You know, Chloe and Yasmin have fake wings, right? So that means whenever... Jane and Sasha put on the glasses, they both didn't have wings on either. So basically, it's either that they're not 18, or they're not nice enough to have these wings. I'm going with the latter here, but I just realized that's kind of fucking, that's kind of fucking funny. Brianna sneaks away from Cymbeline as they go to look for Chloe and Yasmin. They go into the forest and find a tree the pixies may be having their party. They get inside the tree to see it is indeed a pixie seizure party. <laughs> Yeah. 
Jan and Yasmin want to join the dance, as Brianna tells them not to, or they will fall into the spell of the bad pixies. Lena gives a speech about how dark pixies will rule over, with pixies being used for far too long. They find Chloe and Yasmin and try to get them back to normal, making a circle around them, even though Brianna isn't doing too hot. Brianna is found as Lena comes to make her join her as Brianna uses her wand, letting them escape. No, actually, they fall down through the stairs, which are made of wood and are trapped there. We cut to the dad at the Magnolia Ball as he's looking for his daughter's arrival. He goes to give a speech as the red fog cloud thing comes over and releases the dark pixies and he and using their music to control the people at the party to dance. And that, yeah, that's very much it. That, nothing else, nothing, nothing too crazy. The dad gets ready to fight Lena as Simeline comes over to show her rings, telling us as well that Brianna isn't coming anytime soon. The girls find themselves trapped for a short while as King breaks them out as alicorns. Ooh! I did read that right. That's fucking stupid. Lena tells them that the reason why his wife is gone is because of her. Oh no, what a shock. And here I thought it was the gnome's fault. She turned into a literal tree. Then the king's like, bitch, you ain't taking over, and turns Simoline back to normal. Everyone out of their spell as they get into a fight. <laughs> She's dead. Brianna and the girls make it as their dad is turned into a tree. They make a circle around their mom tree. No, they bring their mom back in the same outfit as the rest of the girls are wearing as she brings back the dad and Lena is turned into a tree and is beat on by Simon's bulldog, the closest we get to Simon in this movie. As the king makes the girls lose their magic powers and everyone forgets whatever happened. And so, the movie ends with the dance to end it all, which was for bad pixies and good pixies and why is everyone dancing? The good. The hair animation actually moves with the girls. There are some new character models that I haven't seen before. The relationship between Brianna and Simeline is actually pretty good. The actors are actually giving this their all, which help us, helps out a lot in this for this type of movie and where it was going. I like how no one questions why everyone is dressed up weirdly and no one questions the pixie stuff either. The clothes for the pixies are actually cute. And I actually could see some people wearing this. Like, it's actually pretty cute. The bad. How does Lena control Yasmin and Chloe? Why did Boy Brad Doll not have wings, but Chloe and Yasmin did? Why didn't the dad do something about Lena if he knew that she was a threat after finding out she was back? Why did this need to be about pixies and magic? Why not take the brats out and it be about a family who's going through a lot and gets better by the power of rehab? Why do the brats have to have two casual hairstyles and two outfits? As actually looking at one of Yasmin's outfits would have had her set home. You know, I just thought of this after watching this whole movie, but my my man Simon. There's no more Simon. Quick, we need a montage. It's all the, the Simons. Oh God, Simon. <laughs>